Hi, Kerry. Um, Hi. Um, I was a frustrated teacher um, in a region in Hawke's Bay, actually, and um, I decided to actually give up my job and go and help other schools to try and encourage creativity uh, and inspire people. Um, and really, it was focused on the students at the beginning, but um, we created an organisation called Digital Circus, and um, it was after we started that that the ministry started funding organisations like us. So we jumped through all the hoops and we became accredited through the ministry and we're now um, fully funded by the ministry. Um, we go in schools all over the country. Um, you know, how do you get your kids to look out the window, look at real world authentic problems and try to solve them? How do you actually do it actually in the classroom? And that's what we focus on. So how long ago did you did you throw up your hands and say, listen, there's got to be a better way? Three years ago. Okay. Yeah. So just over about three and a half years ago. So it was a long journey. It was hard. Mm. Um, but now there's about 13 of us now going all over the country. And classroom teachers, so it's actual real, it's not just ideas. It's actually going in and helping the teachers what it actually looks like in the, in the classroom itself. And it's been a really powerful journey. But the main thing is that schools don't know that support is there. And, and that, that's the biggest thing, and that it's completely free. Hmm. Um, you know, there's, there's huge opportunities for schools to get support. Um, and, I, and I think, the, you know, the Ministry of Education over the last few years have really been trying hard to, you know, get support into the schools because not all schools are the same. You know, there's not one size fits all. It's really working in collaboration. When we want those students to engage in real, authentic problems, it's what's surrounding their schools, what is local to them. And it's having that other set of eyes to see what can be done in the classroom to help those teachers. So mm. our focus now is on the teachers, is upskilling the teachers and giving them confidence to embrace it. Hmm. And so how did um, the principals and the schools and the boards of trustees find out about the program? Well, at first it was me doing the legwork at the yep. beginning. Uh, and generally that's what it is. Unfortunately, I mean, it's really hard to get the word out there that this support is there. Um, and schools are really busy places. Having been a secondary school teacher myself, schools are really busy. And the last thing they want is to take on something new on top of everything. And really, it's breaking it down that it's not something new. It can be done with what you're already doing, just with a little tweak. So, so it, is, it can be a change is a tricky thing. Yeah, and, You know, it's whether the school is in the right place for change, if they have the right leadership who want change, and if they have those early adopters that will embrace change as well. Mm. Because teachers, they just have to see how, it's, how it can be done to get them on board. Yeah. So, so like I say, we, you know... And we, they probably do get buffeted by new ideas coming in from ministry all the time. Absolutely. Mm. And there's nothing better for us to go into a classroom with, I wouldn't say a nervous teacher, but maybe apprehensive, yeah. and actually model some of the things that can be done or show them how it can be done or show it how it's going in other schools. And then by that, we, we kind of do the gradual release of responsibility where we would kind of do it, then we'll do it together, now it's your turn to plan for yeah. the next step. And in that way, you can encourage schools and teachers to gradually embrace change. Interesting. Right. Thing. Yeah, that, I think that's that, and that's exactly the sort of thing the report was talking about. Was that the education system isn't allowing for exactly what you're talking about—that real-time problem solving and learning through a child's led by a child's curiosity. Absolutely. Mm. And you know, we we do that whole thing around whether it's play-based learning, project-based learning, STEAM with the art. You know, we think that's really important, you know, because when you're solving problems, you're not necessarily, here's my invention, to solve a problem. It could just, just be informing people of something, raising the awareness. Mm. I mean, you, you think of, like, making movies has changed completely for kids now. Before, they'd make, like, a little um, documentary, if you like. Well, now it's social media, isn't it? Mm. It's got to be, like, a maximum of three minutes. You've got to grab someone within ten seconds and start getting your message across, generally now with subtitles. So there's a whole new, whole new opportunity out there. You know, yep, absolutely. Yep. Lovely to hear from you, Ian. Thank you.